Hello, welcome back to Lead Follow. We're back in the garage, as you can see, although it's actually starting to look a bit like a tire shop. I seem to be collecting these at the moment. Um, and today I want to talk to you about a product. I'm going to do a product review. This is not something that I get paid for. Again, I'm not affiliated with any of these manufacturers. It's something that I've come across recently, something I thought was awesome and something I thought that you should know about. So today I'm going to talk to you about the Sparco tour bag. <laughs> Okay, so if you're like me and you travel abroad for motoring related stuff, then one of the things you'll have found is that the typical suitcase is no good for putting a crash helmet into. So let me show you. Typical crash helmet, far too tall for your average suitcase. You can get bigger suitcases, but even if you can find one that your crash helmet fits in, you're probably not going to want to put this in the hold of the aircraft because there's not much padding in the average suitcase. And even if this fits in, it's going to get heavy objects on top of it. You might get the other side and find there's a big old crack in it, which means you've got to buy another one while you're abroad. This particular model is called the Sparco Tour Bag. There is actually a slightly smaller carry-on version of this. However, airlines are getting a little bit funny sometimes about taking helmets on in the actual cabin of the plane. So most motor racing professionals will actually have dedicated luggage, which is designed to transport your helmet, your gloves, your boots, if you've got a motorcycle, etc all safely in the hold of the aircraft. So let me just open this up and show you what it looks like inside. Okay, so let me give you the quick tour of this bag. So at the top, you've got a massive pocket. It's not very um, deep. It's kind of like envelope shaped, but it is about A4, so that's good for keeping documents in. Um, at the top, you've got a another very similar letter-sized um, compartment which is great if you want to put your passport in or if you want to put like a rain mac or, or something in there that you want to grab quickly if it starts to tip down. Let's open it up and let me show you the inside uh, in all of its magnificence. So it'll actually take three crash helmets. Let me just grab one and show you. So there we go, that's just one crash helmet but you can easily see that I could get three in there if I wanted to. The first pocket actually has some additional padding in it so you would probably use that one mainly for your helmet but it's great to have the option to put multiple crash helmets in if you required them so as you can see it's divided up into three sections but these are actually just velcroed in so you can actually pull these out removed um i've just come back from a recent trip where i've had two crash helmets in here and just because there was one in here without this additional bit didn't make it any less safe there's loads of padding in the lid which i'll show you now so here we are at the lid again you've got a um, very thin envelope style compartment there, but like just a bit smaller than A4 size, similar one here that is the see-through netting and one here also. When you take the big zip out of the way, this actually opens up to give you some more storage. And you can see how deep that is. That's a good uh, three, four inches there. Um, and you've got room here to put your, um, your boots, um, any additional um, gloves, uh, maybe even a race suit if you fold it up and put it in there. But if anything, even if you don't put anything in there, that is a huge amount of extra air, extra bit of padding on top of the crash helmet. So you can pretty much guarantee that when you get to where you're going, all of your equipment is going to be in great condition still. There's going to be no damage. Of course, this is a wheeled bag with a pull-out handle at this end, which is great for just going through the airport. And because it's been made by Sparco, you know that this is top quality. All of the stitching is fantastic. There's no areas where I think, oh, that's a bit weak. That's going to come loose in the future. It's proper tough. This could survive many years or many race seasons. And that's it. Like I said, short video, great product, really recommend it. These are about 150, 160 pounds. The smaller carry-on version is around about 110, 120. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, all those kind of places. But uh, yeah, really recommend it. It's been a great product. I've literally just been to the US, taken my crash helmet with me to ride some motorcycles for some really great videos that are coming up soon. And uh, yeah, it's been flawless, really sturdy not too heavy, crash helmet got there and back in one piece, so hugely recommend it. Um, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, bye for now.